How you doing, YouTube? Matt with NASA Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. Little little outdoor, hopeful uh, recording goodness, and and uh, a little bit of Virginia beer mill hopeful goodness in the form of Three Notch Brewings. It's their Novito Brown Ale. Um, it's been a while since I reviewed just the basic brown ale. Um, but yeah, um, this comes courtesy uh, Brian. Thank you very much, dude. He um, he's kind of just getting into beer. Uh, Self-proclaimed newbie. I, uh, emailed me saying, hey man, you know, I'm just kind of getting into beer and, and I'm down with the Belgian stuff and I've seen some of your reviews and I kind of dig them. So, you know, I'd love to send you some beer and I appreciate it. And this is some homegrown stuff he tossed my way. So I'm kind of excited because new brewery stuff is good stuff. Um, as far as what it says on here, it says three notched uh, brewing company, Charlottesville, Virginia, a Novito English Brown Ale. Um, this was bottled on January, March 13th, 2018. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. This is a relationship. Tell us how you feel. Um, they actually have their phone number on here. That's nice. Um, this Northern English Brown Ale is filled with a variety of English malts, giving it great caramel, nutty toffee flavors with a touch of chocolate, even espresso. Uh, the English hops offer a perfect balance to the complex malt sweetness, providing an earthy hop finish. They actually tell you to put it in a little um, shaker pint there, which, hey, whatever you want to do. Um, and that'd be that. Uh, it's all right. It's very kind of, um, you know, very planned logo-ish, if you will. So let's give her a pour, see what she's got. Uh, might get a little dirty glass mafia. I have a really hard time with my uh, glassware here. Uh, down in Jersey, the water here is just crazy, um, and it just leaves all kinds of funk and stuff in my glasses. Like I can literally wash them as best as humanly possible, and I'll still get a little bit of clinging um, bits and pieces. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, anyway, what do we have going on here? Uh, I mean, look at that. It, you know, quintessential English style brown ale. It's not all that hazy. Um, it's got a subtle, subtle haze to it. Soft carbonation, nice kind of toffee, kind of melted, malted malt ball colored head. Um, and, you know, looks the part. So we're off to a good start. See if we get a nose on her. Wow, big, huge roasted coffee. Yeah, big, huge roasted coffee. You're getting that kind of chocolate, chocolate espresso thing you're talking about. There's a little bit of soft kind of um, sweet toffee-ish kind of vibes there. So it's definitely on par from what they're saying. Is it super robust? Is it balanced? Uh, there's a little bit of kind of uh, subtle mustiness to it. I don't, I don't know if it's a little um, it's a little funky yeastiness or if it is a little bit of uh, oxidation. I think it's more of kind of a little bit of funky yeastiness going on in there. Nothing too, you know horrible but at the same time you get a little bit of kind of that i don't want to say negative but kind of just a little bit dirty kind of vibe from it but man that chocolate espresso kind of coffee thing really pops it smells like an english brown i'll be perfectly honest with you just gonna dive in see what she's got cheers yeah big and roasty getting nice bittering from the hops Get a nice roastiness from that malt. It kind of mirrors together quite nice. A little bit of a kind of toffee, caramel, sugar daddy thing going on. Very subtle dough. Very soft. Very smaller than what the nose would let you to believe. I mean, you're talking about 5%. So you're not talking about a gigantic beer to begin with. Um, which is nice. She's okay. not going to blow me away. It, it, that honestly is down to personal preference. It's not a big English brown ale small ebv english brown ale you get up there towards the eight nine percent start to kind of verge through those barley wine vibes you start to you know start getting into my wheelhouse um when you start to get these kind of lower ebv darker ales that's when you're starting to get into that a little bit of that kind of bittering astringency that kind of metallic thing that i talk about every now and then that kind of balances it's there kind of because that's how for the lack of explanation that's how those beers are but they tend to be a little bit overpowering for me and a little bit too much for me um to the point where it's you know kind of veers away from being a clean beer they end up coming off a little muddy a little funky like i said when it came to that kind of yeast profile at the same time not too shabby nice beer uh let's put it this way tasting what this beer is if i could actually get a high ABV kind of English ale or barley wine from these guys. I think it'd be pretty damn tasty stuff because I can taste some goodness in there. It's just, you know, 5% English brown. Not necessarily my favorite style, but made decently well, except for a little bit of kind of funkiness going on there. There we go. Uh, it's one of the better English brown ales I've had as of late. It's almost going to default to that because I can't remember the last one I had, but it's a nice beer. It's a fine beer. It's not going to blow me away. This is something, you know, go to the tap room, have 
if I went back, I'd try it again to see what it's like on draft, but it's not something I personally would seek out. Um, value availability, no idea. Maybe Brian could chime in on that and leave you with um, if you like what we like this. If you like barley wines, but you want lower ABV stuff, um, if you like English ales, if you like um, you know shilling ales, if you like kind of you know just old English style, not overly hopped malt forward kind of offerings. Give the D a proper. It's almost like a almost veers into kind of like a doppelbock because in a way that yeast comes off to me a little like soft doppelbock kind of vibe bockish vibe somewhere it'd be an English old ale in a, or English ale in a, in, a, in a bock there you go so if you like those you like this so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you enjoy a nice little English ale right now and hope to see you next time cheers